1946, an investigation was opened by the American Military Tribunal at the end of World War II for criminal proceedings against German physicians and administrators, citing participation in war crimes and crimes against humanity. Among the charges was evidence that medical experiments had been conducted on thousands of concentration camp prisoners without their consent and participants were seriously harmed. As a result of this trial, the Nuremberg Code was established in 1947. Numerous questionable studies still took place in the years following. Well-known examples in history include the thalidomide birth defects incident in 1950, Henrietta Lacks's unconsented, immortal HeLa cells in 1951, and the mistreated Tuskegee syphilis participants from 1932 to 1972. In 1964, the World Medical Association established recommendations for biomedical research, and this formed the basis of the good clinical practice guidelines we now use universally. It states that research in humans should be based on the results of laboratory and animal experimentation first that research protocols should be reviewed by an independent committee prior to commencement, that voluntary and informed consent is necessary, that research should be conducted by qualified individuals, and that the risks should not outweigh the benefits. Then the Belmont Report was established in 1979, summarizing the ethical principles and guidelines of the Commission for Protection of Human Participants of Biomedical and Behavioral Research. These were respect for persons, autonomy and informed consent, beneficence, the risks must not outweigh the benefits, justice, fairness, equality and equity, and research integrity. So today, Ethics in research refers to a set of globally applicable principles that govern the way any research involving interactions between researchers and participants is designed, managed, and conducted. This includes living animals or humans, as well as their associated tissue and data. Ethical research requires the dignity, rights, safety, privacy, and well-being of the participants be respected, safeguarded, and considered at all times, particularly those from vulnerable groups. These aspects are governed by institutional review boards or ethics committees, which are an independent panel consisting of medical professionals and non-medical members that determine if the proposed research is ethical. A research committee is usually comprised of researchers best positioned to evaluate utility of research and the rigour of the study design, veterinarians, able to comment on animal welfare, ethicists, who have an understanding of ethical principles and identifying ethical conflicts, and members of public, best positioned to identify and advocate social risks and benefits. They are involved in reviewing and approving the study design research protocol, which states what, how, and why of what you are going to do, the statistical analysis plan, investigate a brochure if drug safety is involved, testing and side effects for new treatments, the suitability of the investigators, facilities, and the methods and materials to be used in obtaining and documenting informed consent. They also review the feasibility of animal numbers and welfare in the case of animal research. Human ethics states that you must minimize harm to participants. All research involving people will have a certain amount of risk attached to it. This may be negligible, low, or high levels of risk. Each of these categories may be assessed differently. For example, a new cancer treatment that may have side effects that cause a bit of harm but the potential benefits of having a new therapeutic may outweigh the risk. Potential participants will be given a clear information consent form. It includes information like what the study is about and what is required of them, 
recruitment inclusion and exclusion criteria, the contact details of the researchers for queries, privacy and confidentiality protection information, the right to withdraw, sources of funding, any remuneration for their time, how data will be managed and used, how findings will be fed back to the participant, if any publications will eventuate, and the foreseeable benefits of the work. Animal ethics warrants ethical, humane, and responsible care and use of animals in research, and is founded on the three R's principle of replacement, reduction, and refinement, which emphasizes considerations around least harm and greatest utility of research animals. Throughout the duration of your study, you have an ongoing obligation to the ethics committee to report any variations to protocols being used and to seek permission for each change every time with an amended submission. You are also required to report any serious issues or side effects that arise. The welfare of the participants must be maintained at all costs and all research conducted must be in the best interests of society. Ultimately, it is the researcher's responsibility to ensure that ethical standards are upheld at all times during the research.